Today I'm going to perform a pre-trip inspection to get us ready for the Missouri CDL test. Before I start my vehicle inspection, I'm going to make sure I've properly chalked my tires. To begin our vehicle inspection today, we're going to start with the engine compartment. To begin with, we're going to be removing the uh, pins of the deer guard, lowering our deer guard down. Okay, after that, we'll be unlatching the hood of the truck. All right, once we've got the hood of the truck open, we'll begin our engine compartment inspection. As I approach the front of the vehicle, I'm going to look underneath for any signs of leaks. I'm going to come around to the passenger side of the vehicle. On the passenger side of the vehicle, I'm going to begin looking at my passenger side general hoses. Make sure they're proper mounted secured at both ends, no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. I'm going to look at my belt driven alternator. It's proper mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. All the wires are connected. The belt's not cracked or frayed, and there's between half to three quarters of an inch of free play. Now I'm going to proceed around to the driver's side of the vehicle. I'm going to take a look at my driver's side general hoses. Make sure the proper mount is secured at both ends, no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. My coolant reservoir, proper mount is secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking, filled to the manufacturer's specifications. My belt-driven water pump, proper mount is secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking. The belt's not cracked or frayed, it's between one half to three quarters of an inch of free play. My power steering fluid, problem mount secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, it's not leaking, and filled to the manufacturer's specifications. My oil is filled to manufacturer's specifications, checked with the dipstick. Okay, my gear driven air compressor is tucked away back here. It is problem mount secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. My gear driven power steering pump right in front of it, also problem mount secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. Okay, my gearbox and hoses, problem mounts secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts on the hoses. Steering linkage, okay, problem mounts secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no missing castle nuts or cotter pins. My shock absorber, problem mounts secured at both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken, it's not leaking. My spring hangers, front and Rear, proper mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. My spring arm, proper mount secured at both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken. My U bolts, proper mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's none missing. My brake hose, proper mount secured at both ends, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. My brake chamber, proper mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking. My slack adjuster and push rod. Problem mount is secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. With the brakes released and pulled by hand, the push rod should not move more than one inch. My brake drum, problem mount is secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. My brake lining, problem mount is secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. No oil or debris, and the friction material is not worn dangerously thin. My tire, there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts to the tread or sidewalls. Tread depth no less than four thirty seconds of an inch. And it's properly filled the manufacturer's specifications check with an air gauge. My rim, problem mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no unauthorized welds. My lug nuts, problem mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. None are missing. No rust trails or powder residue, no cracks around the bolt holes. My hub seal, problem mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking and it's properly filled to manufacturer's specifications. That concludes my engine compartment. All right, now I'm going to proceed with the driver's side door and fuel area. To begin with, the mirror, problem mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's clean. My door seals and hinges, problem mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. It opens, closes, and latches properly, and the seals are not worn or dry rotted. Fuel tank and cap, problem mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking from both the tank and the cap, and the cap is on tight. Now I'm going to proceed to my exhaust. 
Okay, right back here, my exhaust, prop mount secured, not cracked, been or broken, there are no signs of leaks. Catwalk and steps, prop mount secured, not cracked, been or broken, clear of any loose objects. Drive shaft, prop mount secured, not cracked, been or broken. The U-joints are free of debris, it's not twisted. Frame and cross members, prop mount secured, not cracked, been or broken. No unauthorized holes or welds, and no missing cross members. Okay, torque arm, prop mount secured at both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken. My spring hanger, both front and rear, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Spring arm, prop mount secured at both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken. U-bolts, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, none are missing. Shock absorber, problem mount secured at both ends, not cracked, been or broken, not leaking. Airbag, problem mount secured at both ends, not cracked, been or broken, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. No missing mounting bolts and not leaking air. My brake hose, problem mount secured at both ends, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not leaking. Brake chamber, prop and mount secured, not cracked, been or broken, not leaky. Slack adjuster and push rod, prop and mount secured, not cracked, been or broken. With the brakes released and pulled by hand, the push rod should not move more than one inch. Brake drum, prop and mount secured, not cracked, been or broken. Brake lining, prop and mount secured, not cracked, been or broken. No oil or debris, and the friction material is not worn dangerously thin. Tire, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts to the tread or sidewalls. Tread depth no less than two thirty seconds of an inch. Properly filled to manufacturer specifications. Checked with an air gauge. Rim, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. No unauthorized welds. Lug nuts, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. None missing. No rust trails or powder residue, and no cracks around the bolt holes. My axle seal, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. No missing mounting bolts, not leaking, and filled to the manufacturer's specifications. Okay. Mud flap, prop mount secured, not cracked, been or broken. And this concludes my driver's side door fuel area. All right, now I'm going to proceed with the trailer portion of the inspection. Okay, I'm going to start with the bulkhead, prop mount secured, not cracked, been or broken. There's no holes or missing rivets. My frame and cross members, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no missing cross members. Landing gear, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. In the fully raised position, and the crank handle secure in the cradle. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at my frame and tandem release. Prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Both the release handle and the locking pins are in the fully locked position. My spring hanger, prop and mount secured, both front and rear, not cracked, bent, or broken. Spring arm, prop and mount secured at both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken. My shock absorber, prop and mount secured at both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking. Airbag, prop and mount secured at both ends, no, not cracked, bent, or broken. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. No missing mounting bolts, and not leaking air. Brake hose, prop mount secured at both ends, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. Brake chamber, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking. My slack adjuster and push rod, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. With the brakes released and pulled by hand, the push rod shouldn't move more than one inch. Okay. Take a look at my brake drum, it's prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. My brake lining, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. No oil or debris, and the friction material is not worn dangerously thin. Right. I'll come out and take a look at the rest. Tire, there's no abrasion, bulges, or cuts to the tread or sidewalls. Tread depth no less than two thirty seconds of an inch, and properly filled to manufacturer specifications check with an air gauge. Okay. My rim, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, no unauthorized welds. Lug nuts, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. None missing, 
no rust trails or powder residue, and no cracks around the bolt holes. My wheel seal, broad mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking, and filled to the manufacturer's specification. Okay. My mud flap, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Now I'll come around and take a look at my doors. Prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Opens, closes, latches properly. The seals are not worn or dry rotted. And my hinges are good. And this finishes up my trailer section. All right, now we're going to proceed with the coupling section. First, I'm going to check my electric line. It's prop mount secured at both ends. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no exposed wires. My air lines, prop mount secured at both ends, no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. My glad hands, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. The glad hand seals are not worn or dry rotted, and they're not leaking air. My trailer apron, prop mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no visible gap between my apron and my skid plate. Skid plate, prop and mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, is properly lubed. Now we'll go under. All right, my kingpin, prop and mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. My locking jaw, prop and mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's fully locked around the kingpin. My release arm and safety latch, prop and mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's in the fully locked position. Platform, prop and mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Mounting bolts, prop and mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and none missing. My sliding fifth wheel and locking pin, prop and mount secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, in the fully locked position. And the airline is prop and mount secured at both ends, no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. I'm going to check the clearance between my mud flap and landing gear to make sure there's proper space between them and they don't hit each other while making turns. All right, and this completes my coupling section. Now I'm going to proceed with my light inspection. Mr. Examiner, I'm going to check all my lights, reflectors, reflective tape the same way. They're properly mounted, secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, clean and illuminated, and the proper color of amber to the front and the sides and red to the rear. Before I begin, I'm going to make sure and turn my lights on. Okay. I'm going to check my clearance lights, both marker lights. And my headlights. A marker light, a clearance light, reflective tape down the side of the trailer. Got reflective tape on my mud flap, tail lights, and reflectors on the frame. Got a marker light. Got a marker light, my ABS light. Got clearance lights, tail lights, reflective tape on the door and the bumper. Marker light, reflective tape running down the side of the trailer. Marker light. Reflective tape, tail lights, and reflectors. Got a clearance light and a marker light. Mr. Examiner, could you please help me with my 5x5? Five five? I'm going to check my five functions in my five locations. My five functions my left turn signal, right turn signal, my four way flashers high beams and brake lights. Five locations, the front of the truck, both sides of the truck, the rear of the truck, both sides of the trailer, and the rear of the trailer. Could you please help me? All 
I'm going to check my left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashers, my high beams, and my brake lights. All right, and this concludes my light inspection. All right, now I'm going to perform my in-cab inspection. First, I'm going to check my seatbelt. Make sure it's properly mounted and secured, not ripped or frayed, and adjusts and latches properly. My fire extinguisher, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, fully charged. I have three red reflective triangles underneath the bunk, and my spare electrical fuses are in the glove box. I'm going to perform a safe start. First, I'm going to put in my alarm code. I'm going to turn the key to the on position, make sure my ABS lights come on and off. Make sure I'm in neutral, apply the brake, and start the engine. Okay. I'm going to check my windshield and mirrors. Make sure they're prop mounts secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. They're clean, no obstructions, and my mirrors are adjusted to me. I'm going to check my voltmeter. The alternator is charging between 13 to 14 volts. My oil pressure is rising up to normal operating range. My water temperature is rising up to normal operating range. And my air pressure is rising up to the governor cutout between 120 and 125 PSI. Check my lightning indicators, my left turn signal indicator, my right turn signal indicator, my high beam indicator, and my four-way indicator. Check my heat and defrost. Turn to defrost and floor. Turn my fan on. I'm going to make sure the defrost is blown by the windshield. I'm going to make sure my heat's blowing from down below. Check my city horn and my air horn. Now I'm going to perform an air brake test. I've already chalked the tires, and so I'm going to release both brakes. I'm going to turn the truck off and turn the key back to the on position. Okay, stage one, the applied pressure test. I'm going to apply a hard brake and I'm gonna wait for the gauges to stabilize. I'm gonna hold this hard brake for one minute. During that time, make sure I don't lose more than four PSI while listening for leaks. And now that my gauges have stabilized, Mr. Examiner, could you please start my time? All right, I did not lose more than four PSI. Next, I'm gonna pump down on the brakes until my warning light and buzzer come on at or before 60 PSI. Okay, my warning light and buzzer came on. Finally, I'm going to pump down on the brakes until both my trailer valve and my tractor valve pop out between 40 to 20 PSI. All right, both my valves have popped out. That concludes my air brakes. Now I'm going to restart the vehicle. And as I let the vehicle regain air pressure, I'm gonna go remove my wheel chocks. All right, I'm gonna continue to rebuild my air pressure. Now that my air pressure has reached governor cutout once again, now I'm going to perform a parking brake check. First, I'm going to release my tractor brakes, apply my trailer brakes, put the vehicle in drive. I'm going to give a light tug on my trailer's brakes. Okay, trailer brakes held. Now I'm going to apply my tractor brake, release my trailer brakes. I'm going to give a light tug on my tractor. 
Okay, my tractor brakes held. Now I'm going to release both sets of brakes. I'm going to pull forward to five miles per hour, apply the brake pedal, make sure it comes to a smooth stop and the truck doesn't pull left or right. Okay, the truck did not pull left or right. This concludes my in-cab inspection. All right, folks, I hope you've enjoyed watching this informational video as you get ready to take the Missouri CDL exam. I hope this helps to equip you to do well on this pre-trip inspection. Folks, have a great day.